Okay then, we're looking at P3 and this topic is called forces and motion. So a lot of it is to do with um, speed and looking at things like acceleration, deceleration, kinetic energy um, and all sorts of things. So we're going to start off with the basics, looking at speed and being able to work out what it is and how to measure it. So speed is a measure of how fast someone or something is moving. It's the distance moved in a certain time and it's calculated using this equation you can see on um, the screen. So speed equals distance divided by time. Now when it comes to your exam you may well be given um, the equation that's in the purple box there. I do suggest you learn how to put them into triangles because it makes it much easier uh, when trying to work out, for instance, if they asked you to work out the time of something, rather than trying to change sides and change signs, it's much easier to put it in a triangle, cover over the one you want, and then you know, for instance, if you're working at time, you know it would be distance divided by speed. So that's an easy one. Also, look out for things like... Um, the units because that's something that can catch people out because they do try to put your questions in where they'll say you can travel this far in this many seconds and then ask a question like how I don't know uh, how many minutes or something so you've got to be careful to make sure you convert um, so that you get the right units um, so speed can be measured in meters per second, kilometers per hour or uh, miles per hour so like I said just watch out for that. If you're asked to work out the average speed of something um, you need to first of all um, be able to calculate the distance traveled and if the speed is changing uniformly that means you know um, at a constant rate then the average speed equals your initial speed plus your final speed and you divide it by two okay so um, that's the one you need to look out for as well okay right you might be asked to talk about speed cameras and talk about how they work so speed cameras are used to measure the speeds of vehicles that are traveling faster than the speed limit some are used together with lines painted on the road as the car passes over the lines the camera takes two pictures 0.2 seconds apart the distance travelled by the vehicle in that time is found by looking at the two photos. So the distance and time are known. The speed can then be calculated. Average speed cameras use a pair of cameras to work out the average speed of a car. The cameras read the car's number plate and record the time when the car passes each camera. The distance between the two cameras is known. So the car speed can be worked out using the average speed equation. So if I put that into context, your first one where you um, have pictures taken between two lines, um, that's the one that you'd find on the Chester Road, the, the speed camera there. The average speed cameras are ones that you usually find um, on the motorways. Uh, where they take one picture at one point and then another picture at another point and if you've got there too quickly even if you're going the right speed when you pass it then you are going to get a ticket okay so speed fairly straightforward the hardest part really is working out average speed so that's your initial speed plus your final speed divided by two